Hi, I'm Colleen. This is Faded Love Vintage. Today I am out thrifting with Frankie. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. So first we're hopping into the thrifty shopper in Cicero and yeah. then we're going to go to a few different places. So see you inside. All right, starting out with the red section, I uh, saw this little French press coffee, but I thought it was older than it was. And uh, shopping with Frankie <laughs> gets me very distracted, so I didn't even see the pink depression or the coin dot amber glasses. But for some reason, I focused in on this Oneida canister, which has a chip on the bottom that I didn't notice right away. I did look this up uh, for comps and I ended up putting it back on the shelf, but you'll see it in my cart for a while. <laughs> um, to the blue section, I picked up this little trinket dish. It's a very cute little made in Portugal little dish. I just like the florals on it. I like the shape. Just a cute little thing. Put that in my cart next to the canister. <laughs> And I'm like, is that a glassy baby? It is not. And if you don't know, glassy baby is the brand of a very simple looking um, votive candle holder. That is definitely something to keep an eye out for because it has a, it is very collectible, have quite a high resale value. So I found another one, put them together. And I'm taking a peek at this vase quite large I like the shape of it but it is flashed so the, it, the color is painted on and that tends not to be done with high quality glass so I did leave that behind all right so I picked up this piece back here because I thought it looked like an anthropology piece but I believe this is just Hobby Lobby so I did leave that behind and then Taking a step back to get a better view. <laughs> just check the list or the name on the back of that. Well, it's just Sango, which is a pretty common um, brand name that I see around these parts. This was a hobbyist piece and it was covered in glue and floral foam. <laughs> this was a really pretty piece and it didn't have a lot of damage to it. But it makes me so sad to see labels like that. That obviously somebody cared about it enough to label where they had gotten it from or who it belonged to. But and then it ended up here. <laughs> I took a peek at, at this uh, little teapot thinking maybe Fitz and Floyd. It does say Italy on it. And I was looking really close because Italian pottery is kind of notorious for chipping very easily. I didn't really get a quality vibe out of this piece, uh, so I did leave it behind, and they also had it marked for $5, so I didn't see a lot of retail resale value there, so I left it behind. I did pick up this uh, little tile trivet for myself. <laughs> uh, I saw another trivet down there at the bottom, but it was unmarked. I wasn't really sure about it. It looked to me to be um, Nippon reproduction. This, I just liked the pattern on it with the um, hummingbird, so I just kind of took a peek at it. This reminded me of Blue Ridge Pottery, but um, when I found a piece that actually did have a mark on it, it was actually Stenson China in the Rio pattern. Um, which actually does not go for very much at all on eBay, so I did leave it behind. This bottle is really interesting to me. It has a pontal mark. It is um, sun purpled, and it had a spot for a label. So what I mean by sun purpled is that this piece has, I believe, magnesium in it. So when it was in direct sunlight, that magnesium turns into purple. So it went from clear glass to purple just by being um, exposed to sunlight. Uh, that little pitcher had a chip in it, so I left that behind. So you can see the... That canister still in the cart. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I see some milk glass and the white section. 
um, I didn't even see those mugs. I kind of focused in on this bottle, which is modern and um, pretty inexpensive. So, <laughs> and then I, I did see the Westmoreland milk glass, but the unfortunately the snack sets uh, don't have a very high retail resale value, so I did leave it behind. And peeking around in the small art, I see this bird here, which is cute, but it doesn't strike me particularly as um, well made. <laughs> this piece was also cute. Um, very kind of cottage core boho, but I left, left it behind. Yeah. These were interesting. They're pure one. They're really pretty. But the um, numbers for them were kind of all over the place, so I left them behind. And didn't see much more in the mugs. Um, that vintage yellow set was pretty neat, but I did leave it behind. Uh, there's, I have so much china I still have to list. And um, I just, if it's not at a certain price point, I just have to leave it behind. <laughs> because I'm... I have quite a bit that is still on my to-do list. Now, these are actually candle huggers. I had never seen any in the blue geese, the blue but the, the blue ribbon geese, but I did leave them behind. And then I saw some King's Crown, a couple of uh, cordial cups. Um, and I did end up taking these with me as well. Um, it's just vintage barware. I just, I love colored glass and these were in really good shape and at a good price point. So I figured I'd give them a shot, uh, especially to try on whatnot. And I did pick up this large bowl. <laughs> um, it was so heavy with all those rocks in it because it's a substantial piece of glass plus the rocks. So Marrero glass is Italian. Um, it's not Murano but it's an Italian recycled glass and it has a decent resale value. So I did pick that up and you can find it in my eBay shop if you so desire. <laughs> Didn't see anything in the lamps. All right, so we found some good things at the thrifty shopper. I'm pretty happy with that. I did end up putting back that canister. It was, I ended up looking it up and it only goes for like $8. So, um, at, I think it was $4, it was just, we'll, we'll leave it there for the next person. Uh, so we are at Goodwill now, so let's go inside and see what we can find. It's always worth taking a peek at these Hallmark um, dancing snowman buddies, I think, or something along those lines. Some of these can be worth quite a bit. Um, I always look for uh, if they work and how clean they are. <laughs> these were pretty dirty, <clears throat> so I did leave them behind. But some of them can go for good money. And I picked up this little tin tray. I thought it was really pretty. And doing a little bit of research, turns out it was one that was a part of a set. They don't have seatbelts on these. Looking in the figurine aisle. I saw the horse, which was really pretty, but it was a hobbyist piece. I didn't see a whole lot of value there. It wasn't uh, particularly super well done. Um, not very clean paint job. <laughs> Um, I do see, uh, the Inesco girl, uh, but she is broken. I've seen her on previous trips. This was a pretty plate, um, but I just, I haven't been doing very well with these painted plates recently. And at $4 on an unmarked plate, that's just really the paint itself. Uh, even though it was well done, I decided to leave it behind. And I went back and forth on this little, um, this little stone and glass tree for quite a while. I actually had it in the cart for a second, but then I changed my mind and put it back. <laughs> but, um, 
Somebody picked it up because it definitely wasn't there the next time I was in. <laughs> so someone got a great deal on a pretty little tree. I did pick this up though. I don't usually see the redware tigers. I usually see the panthers that are painted black. So I was pretty happy to see that little tiger. So I have him and I plan to have him in also another whatnot auction. I also picked up this bulb. It's unmarked, but I mean, color glass. I, I, I can't say no when it's at a good price point. Um, but if you don't know, Whatnot is, a, um, is an auction app for live sales. And I have a link in the description if you're interested. Um, first time users get a $10 credit. Um, piece. Uh, thinking possibly Italian, but not sure if I wanted to deal with the size of it. And then I saw that. Let me just let you hear my reaction. Oh my god. Holy crap. I found one. I can't believe we found one. Yeah. Yeah, we found one. Ah! Yeah. You don't know what I'm excited about. Oh my god, this is awesome. And it's three dollars. It is awesome. Oh, it's so awesome. Oh, mommy's happy. Mommy's happy. Yeah, you yeah. are happy. Yeah, I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. Oh, mommy's happy. Now mommy has to focus and see if there's anything else we want. That's a really pretty little dish. Bavaria, hand painted and signed. No chips or cracks. That's really pretty. I can't believe it's cool. Yeah, I can't, I can't believe, believe I just picked up a Catherine Holmes. Well, I'm going nuts a little bit. I'm losing it. That is a shame. That vase is very pretty, but it's missing who knows how much on the top and has a huge crack down the center of it. So that's sad. And this round piece is pretty interesting. Um, I spent a lot of time looking at it because I um, recently had gotten a book on Heise glass etched pieces. And it kind of gave me, it reminded me of that, but I don't believe it is actually a Heise glass. Oh, my Lanta, I can't believe I just found Catherine home in a thrift store in a Goodwill. There's nothing. Oh, my. I'm freaking out. All right. So if you don't know, um, I'm trying to remember the country that Catherine home is from, but um, Norwegian. But Catherine home is a mid-century uh, enamelware product. The Lotus pattern, which is the one that you saw with like the very, the stylized flower is very desirable. Um, hundreds of dollars desirable. So I am very excited. Um, I looked it up really quick in the store and the last one that sold was well over a hundred dollars and that was a 12 inch. I don't know what size I have. I'll have to measure it when I get home. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's go to, I believe we have time for one more thrift store. So we'll go to, um, let's see, we'll go to a thrifty shopper. I just have to figure out which one. <laughs> so I will see you then. All right, starting out, I saw these saucers. I believe this is Hazel Atlas Ovide. I might be wrong, um, but it's missing the cups. And I searched everywhere high and low for the cups, but it's just not worth it for the saucers without the cups. This basket was super cute, but it had a chip and a crack. So I had to leave it behind. That I would expect it to be probably about 1940s. This, I thought, might have been the base to a fairy lamp, so I had to check that out. Um, it wasn't. So, um, I did leave that piece behind, but I kept looking and didn't see anything. 
and a, another that I thought might have been the base to a fairy lamp, but it wasn't, so I left it behind as well. <laughs> I believe that, I don't know what that might have been, maybe um, something to a chip and dip set. This is a pretty little piece of amber glass, but at $2, it's just, it's just not a very high um, retail piece. And this little bear grandma with the horn to her ear is so stinking cute, but it's a single shaker and they wanted $2 for it. So I had to leave her behind. It was, it was kind of hard to leave her behind, but I, and looking now, I think I see some damage. So I'm glad I did. So I keep looking. I'm not seeing a whole lot. Uh, this mouse was really cute. Um, not particularly vintage from what I could tell. Um, I was going to look up that Patty signature, but then I realized there was a whole bunch of glaze missing, and so I left it behind. <laughs> and so I keep looking. And I see this little yellow vase. And it's uh, got a bit of an Asian motif, uh, uh, cherry blossoms. And I thought it looked very mid-century, so I wanted to give it a shot. And I like to look at this bowl. I have not been able to figure out that signature, so if anything, anyone knows anything about it, please let me know. I believe it's like Kapit? Kaput? Um, I'm not sure. Kabit? I, I don't know. Let me know if you know anything. And <laughs> there's the nest to a hen on nest, missing the hen. This is a shame. This is a beautiful piece of clear depression glass, um, but it is has a huge chip in the lid. So that's sad and I left it behind. And looking, scanning, it's always worth looking in the clear glass because you never know what you're gonna find again thought it was a fairy lamp took a look it's not it's some sort of crystal <laughs> so i left it behind all right forgot to film an outro in the truck but um today was amazing <laughs> i mean katherine holmes but the last thrifty shopper in comparison just was a bit anticlimactic compared to goodwill <laughs> but um yeah one more look at I mean, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's all I have for you today. If you enjoy going on my adventures with me, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.